kind of a bummer because I just wrapped up the video on the box from Crabs and Pain that the mailman left me and I didn't realize there was going to be other deliveries. Oh yeah, those are my slippers. <laughs> um, but it's been raining cats and dogs and left it outside and look at this one. It's all taped up and it's even ripped open and this is all wet on one side. So hopefully, I'm going to open this up right now because I, first of all I want to see if anything's missing. Secondly, the box is wet and you know, it's probably paper products. Some of it, I know that. So. Um, Let's open them up and okay, see what so we got. bag was fine. Everything's in there. I'll show it to you right now. I just want to show you this because the first thing I saw was like a bunch of chicken scratch on my uh, invoice, which I'm not going to show because somebody had said, hey, be careful with that. But you know what? I can cover this part, actually. It had a bunch of, a lot of scribbling all over it. Um, more on the top of my address is there. And it's like, we're sorry. And then uh, I'm going to get a refund. I have not seen a message about a refund. So that probably means I have to call them. And it was for the um, vintage lace paper, which is a bummer because I got it for like 12 bucks. And then I open it, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Look how this is packaged. Like, I know I didn't order all these little bottles of things, so I'm assuming that's some kind of grab bag. Uh, mixed media mystery bag, probably, which I only paid six bucks for. That's really good. Especially with seeing all the stuff that I see here because I paid $6.40 for it. But why can't they put it in a bag like they normally do? I, I don't know what this stuff is. What is this? Artsy stone large? I don't know. So pretty much all this stuff right here was mixed media and I, like I said, paid six bucks, so that's really good. But at the same time, I'm like, what am I looking at? I don't <laughs> Everything's kind of crazy, but I'll go through it. I think everything's here. I just want to get out of the box, like I said, because it's wet, but we will probably haul it tomorrow morning. Because like I said, I got it, an order in this morning that came through the mail and that was delivered. And then this other stuff comes through. I don't know who, I don't know if it was FedEx or Aramex or whoever the heck. I'm telling you, it's kind of weird right now. And they don't really give you a time or a day that they're going to be delivering. They send you tons of emails saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We have it, but no <laughs> delivery date. So this is kind of weird. So let me go through this just again to make sure everything's here. But um, I guess I'm at the call about the paper pack, which they supposedly refunded, but didn't include. Uh, and they'll refund it. It's just a, another step I have to take. Only one time have they ever sent me a letter like that that said they refunded it, that they, they actually had already refunded it. So, okay, let's go through this stuff. Okay, I'm just going to show you the mixed media thing here because there's so much. This was literally $6.40. You guys saw it on my receipt there. It was a mixed media mystery bag. I don't know what happened or what. I saw something sneaking out back here. I'm like, what is this? So under this paper, they had more things. So for six bucks, I got some sparkle medium and rose. Sparkle medium and teal. I got whatever those little rock things are. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use them. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Fuchsia soft blend fabric paint. I got starlight metallic paint in sky blue. Rusty patina. Oh, this is gonna be cool, but this is white or blunk. I guess it's white. Rusty patina paint, also a texture patina paint in a really pretty duck egg color, it says. That's a pretty color. I have some of that metallic paint in like a black tone. I have it in silver. I have it in gold. Um, a spray one. I don't know why they just threw it in here though, to be honest, because these things can open up, but uh, Shake and Gilt, Liquid Gilt by Imagination Crafts. I have a pearly candle paint. I have here a soft blend fabric paint in white. Um, this is the Summer Breeze paper pad. I bought an extra one of those just like I did with the Vintage Lace, but that one came in the Vintage Lace did not. These are some kind of cool sheets. They're kind of Christmassy. It says rice paper decoupage. I don't know what this was literally underneath. And I guess it could have gotten wet, but so I have that one. It feels awesome. It's rice paper. Oh, this is really pretty. I love that. It has all kinds of different uh, those like seed packets, but they're not. And this one's just like a nice background. Wow, that'll be really fun to play with. And then I was like, well, what's this stuff? Because this stuff was underneath the paper pad. So this still it comes along with that, I guess. So I have um, those little weird paper things. I told you guys I don't really know how to use these, but I will definitely try. Um, oh, this is nice. Uh, stencil, I do not have this one. Because I do sometimes throw in the stencils because they're, sometimes they're on clearance. Um, this really cool background kind of stamp or like texture stamp, should I say. Uh, feathers. Oh, my f thing's almost out of battery. Let me do this really quick. A couple other stencils say birthday. Um, oh, a really pretty background stamp that just has all sorts of fun words. Another stencil. And then this big stencil, which thank goodness I don't have. So that's awesome. All right. Well, let's get to the rest okay, of the haul. So I still cannot get over that. Uh, six bucks and 40 cents. Wow. So, um, I'm gonna have to probably skip around because I have another video that I was gonna put up before this. Like I said, I rehauled some stuff earlier today and it had to do with something else. 
and then in that video I said I'm gonna be waiting for obviously the new things that come in and then they came in and I already uploaded the video I just haven't released it so I'm like I don't want to splice into it and then add more stuff so but I do want to start using these things so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you these things now it's gonna be ahead of the other video the other haul video and then I'm gonna start using the items because I was waiting for these things specifically because I'm like oh this is gonna be awesome so um, I threw this in just because again I wanted to get 75 bucks so I can get my free shipping when I'm close to that not that I would never pay for shipping but like it's easy for me to spend 50 75 bucks on <laughs> crafters companion so uh, website so this is clear magic singles said by woodware craft collection look how pretty that is and this one was not inexpensive um, oh I thought this was the re receipt for it but not something else so I'm not I don't remember how much this one was so but it wasn't super cheap so what's cool about this order is that there's a couple things in here i wanted to get on hsn but they were a better price for crafters companion and i'm like i'll just wait for it to come in but to be honest i ordered these things the same day as the um craft day which was what the fifth and today is the 18th 17th i don't remember what day is today is um so you know it took about two weeks to come in i know some people are still waiting for their hsn stuff so no harm no foul especially on this i was able to get the whole set which um hsn was selling it as wild and pet uh the peekaboo peek <laughs> uh stamp and dies so i have the cat i have the bunny i have the dog i have the giraffe which is this is what sold me you guys this giraffe is so adorable like i didn't really care for that well, it's okay. The Crafts Companion, that little, in the box number 18 that they sent out this last month, I already did the review on it and did a tutorial. Um, it's a little bit different than this kind of thing, but it still has the same kind of effect. So I thought, well, it's cute. I wasn't super sold in that box, but these I think are super cute. So I have the bear, the elephant, oh, and his little booty. So cute. And then this came with um, these dies that HSN won, I think, 15 bucks just for these dies by themselves. I might already have these, though. I feel like I have these from buying the edgeable dies but we'll see uh, if i do or don't we'll see if i put them in my over you know surplus type thing and then it came with the low tack tape too which i already have a couple packs of this stuff so i mean it lasts forever um so it was a better price i actually got this for like five dollars less than just buying the stamp sets on hsn so pretty good so i got the those dies and this for less money so that was a good deal well, for now, until they, you know, put them on clearance or whatever <laughs> Crafters Companion does, you know. So, um, they left that as a new thing. The Garden Party, I don't know if I have this from other kits with the Creator Card. Whenever HSN had a sign up for these one-dimensional cards, I feel like this is the kind of thing that would have come along with it. But it was on sale in their little sale thing for like five bucks. So I went ahead and got it because I like the little bunting or they call it bunting, but like, um, garland thing here. And just the cute little leaves that go on the tree and the flowers. I love stuff like this. So this is super cute. And then this is the other thing that I got cheaper on HS, um, Crafters Companion than on HSN. Even though HSN had the bundle, I think for 116, I got air all these for 101. So I saved 15 bucks, no tax and no shipping, right? So 116 plus, well, $5 for all day shipping, but two year tax on that, you know. So I got it for 101. And I'm sure, you know, like I said, after a while, Crafters Companion will have this for like $10 or something. <laughs> no joke, they do like the craziest sales when they do sales. But um, but for now, it's what it is. So it's the bonbon box, and it's super cute. And I love these kind of things. So that's why, for me, it's worth buying this. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm sold in that Precious Memories. And I had already mentioned it, and I, I just finished up the album. And uh, people were really kind, thank you, because I wasn't feeling it. And they're like, oh, you did a great job for something you didn't care about or weren't feeling, you know, to do that day. And um, and then I started thinking about that was like a hundred and what fourteen hundred twenty something bucks I don't know it costs as much as basically the mini empress or the you know our empress mini so it's like that's a lot of money so if it's something I really don't care for I should return it I mean there's no reason to keep that it's money that you know my husband since he's the one that works you know outside the house and I have my you know YouTube partnership but like it's money still so it should be spent on something I want so like for this is 101 dollars there's four of them here all together this one is the trinket box so i want to get to making these because i'm very curious to try them out i know you guys like those kind of videos so i'm definitely gonna do it look how cute this one the honeycomb favor box this guy's gonna be small because basically you're gonna cut this out twice and look how little it is already so you know what i'm saying so i width of my hand so it's gonna be a tiny little box um maybe hopefully enough to hold like a cupcake or something cute and then the gift carton box which is also very cute it has this one's interesting because it has a big part at the bottom and then this part so the base is kind of wider and and what i like about this better than like those double side box dies is that this one already by itself is about two inches deep almost two inches 
and those other box dies are like three quarters of an inch deep maybe an inch if you're lucky so um i do like this so this is the kind of thing that's right up my alley and then i got the um let me see the vintage florals oh i'm so sorry uh paper pad now this is what came out with the uh precious memories papers um or lineup and these are double-sided says so obviously has toppers and things like that some different cute things uh, about four pages of this or three pages of those toppers three pages of this design Miranda Lou three pages of this design and then we have our double-sided papers that are very classic and pretty um, I think I only ordered one of this package and that's okay this uh, I like it but I do like some of the other papers better like the fairy garden that is so adorable I'm waiting for that to come in I just told you guys I ordered three packs this paper is really pretty but there's only three pages of it right so some of them they use I was gonna say they might put on the front so okay there's six pages that have uh, one side with that pretty butterfly print so what they do is they do back and forth and then some of them they double up again so pretty paper um okay let me see what else so in the box that supposedly had gotten that refunded item which I need to call about I got this hooked unicorn Nora kit it says I guess maybe her name is Nora I don't know this is really cute I don't I've never bought any of their stuff like this let me open this real quick so we can look at it so I like to crochet and I like to knit so this was right up my alley and especially it was uh, inexpensive it says no waste 100% recycled textiles I like that lion brand came out with something similar too it's kind of like just like this it's like that thicker yarn that's supposedly recycled look how cute this is hooked Milano mixed colors then it came with a larger white one it's a little bit off-white it has a crochet hook and then the instructions this is adorable oh my gosh it was super inexpensive too so that's why I picked it up um just some stamps oh Crafts Companion now on their website has the verse stamps that I don't know what there was some kind of glitch on HSN that it was like verse stamps that came with the folder right the purple folder and then like I said I thought I bought it and then the next day it was back in my car I didn't realize till the end of the day and by then it was sold out uh, another lady told it, said it happened to her too so I don't know what happened and then they supposedly sold out of it so they are on uh, Crafts and Companion right now with my discount I think it's 107 for the big kit and it comes with um, eight stamp sets which this HSN one came with seven so there's eight full-size stamp sets and then it comes with the stamping foam pad which I just recently ordered so I don't need it but if I order it because it's a good price I'll just have to sell that or give it away or something I don't know but I did pick up these uh, festive phrases just because we always need something like that in our cards I got this paper and I, what's interesting about this they have a ton of this right Stamperia flowers for you I was like what is this look how skinny this is <laughs> I didn't expect that I think this was like six bucks even with my discount 10 double-sided face sheets and it's just little sheets of paper so if you see these and you think oh cool it's not a whole paper pad like I wouldn't consider this paper pad um, there's some topper looking pieces that you can cut up and then some pages and some of them have like a whole big word on them which is kind of interesting but just so you know if you see the Stamperia it's like this it's not like a paper pad what you would expect the hunky dory card making collection i got it for 12 bucks i don't believe i have this one yet so i always whenever i go on crafts campaign i look up hunky dory and i look up inspirations just so i can see what their magazines are selling for if they have any so issue nine um really cute it has uh this is one kit makes build a scene perfect christmas cards it comes with a a6 door embossing folder which is adorable oh that's too cute oh and the dies i didn't even notice that okay and then two exclusive designer card collections with foiled and die cut toppers and then 14 stamps so i'm going to open this real quick just so we can take a peek inside but it's basically like all those british magazines you get that are super awesome i don't know why the do they even make create and keepsakes anymore or any kind of american magazine like that i don't know i feel like i haven't seen them in a long time so really nice little stamps you can see that door back there and then the um well let me open this up and then we have the dies oh cute i didn't even know this was in here this is adorable and you know obviously you can put that on your little door if you want so cute okay and then um the magazine of course that has ideas with lots of what is this upside down oh i see no i don't see <laughs> what's going on okay so they stapled it backwards or you know what i'm saying sometimes they'll do like a backwards on the other side but no this is just upside down for some reason so this is should be the front of the magazine <laughs> And then it has different ideas with what your box comes with. So cute. Oh, are we? See, yeah, because it's the front cover. So the front cover, it's just upside down, the cover for whatever reason. 
and then the papers that are so pretty that it comes with and these are hunky dory this is what they sell so like if you were to buy this from them they would want like 20 some odd bucks just for something like this so i guess in that way it's a good deal look how cute these are i love christmas stuff so pretty so there's that and i'm trying to see what else came in this box that wasn't that um mixed media stuff uh let's see So they had the kits, the glue kit, what they call it. So this thing came with everything. Like I told you, I like to buy now just the tube, but it was nine bucks for both of these things. So I was like, well, they usually want more than nine bucks just for the this guy. So basically I got this uh, tape runner for free and I got two sets of those. And then um, I got these um, Moonstone dies. I do not know if there are flowers that go with this. I'm assuming there are, cause that's what Hunky Dory does. So if there are, I'm gonna pick them up. But if not for right now, I just thought they were really pretty. I like the designs of them. So, you know, just to make your own little flowers, maybe I'll do a review of that. Um, it seems, we were just talking about this, like everything that's old is new again, right? Uh, you know, Cricket had the cuddle bug and, you know, Sizzix with, obviously Sizzix was one of the pioneers in that. And if your steel rule dies and your dies and you know, okay, you're cranking them out. Okay, now it's electronic or electric. I always say electronic. Electronic to me means it has like push buttons. So it's electric, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, Cricket has all these things and we're like, we love Cricket, we love Brother, we love our cutting machines. And now it's like, oh, back to dies. Cause you know, when you like Cricket came out, it's like, oh, you can cut anything you want in any size up to, you know, the mat size and, and manipulate them in those ways. And then the Gypsy helped you kind of make different, even better patterns or, um, designs and, uh, puzzles, you know, all these companies had all their different things. And now it's like back to buying individual dies again. It's kind of weird. So a uh, gal and I here on YouTube decided, you know, we need to bring our cricket out and use it more. I literally have probably 500 cricket cartridges, maybe more. Um, I don't do much of the online stuff. I don't like that. That's the thing. I don't like it. So now that craft space, I guess I can put it on my iPad. And it's basically like a gypsy. That's okay. But I just, I, I don't, I rather have my gypsy or just push the buttons. Right. Um, but really I have so many of those cartridges. Ridiculous. Anyway. It was an action, right? We love it. We love our little cartridges. Um, but anyway, so let me know what you guys think about that. If you're going to go back to you, you know, or if that's what you stick with most of the time. Um, so I've got this um, stamp set called Old Type Messages. I love what's on there. You're my friend, my sounding board, the voice of reason, the little devil on my shoulder. So it has cute little sayings on here. Um, again, these are all from Crafters Companions website. Um, Until the sun comes out for you, my umbrella is big enough for two. Like really cute. Um, this one's called You're Perfect. And then this was a kit that they had on their, I guess like, I always like to buy like on Thursdays. Wednesday, it depends because, um, so a lot of times they have their cart load deals. They have their Monday makers, they have their creative cravings, like on their little crafters TV, which by the way, this whole last week, they have not let people comment on like on YouTube. It used to not be able to comment while you know, the show was on and then they opened them up. And like I told you, we just chat on there and now it's gone again. So I'm like, what? Ugh. It's like, they want to force you to go to Facebook to chat which i don't i don't just i just don't use facebook i don't care for it but whatever um so what i try to do is they usually keep their sales for like 24 to 48 hours and it's usually longer than that I, i've always gone back and they still have the sale on but I, don't quote me on that because sometimes they do sell out of things or sometimes they do actually stick by their 24 to 48 hour rule so these were 20 some odd bucks or something for the three and i don't have this one i know i don't have this one so i was like okay for sure clamshell horizon really pretty creator card and I don't know what I call it, die, die and, uh, cut and emboss or something too, but it kind of is, but kind of not. Anyway, it was really pretty the way they use this. So I'm like, I'm, I like that one. I feel like I have Flourishing Ivy. Or maybe I have a Christmas one that looks like this, huh? I don't know. That kind of looks like a Christmas one. And I know I don't have this little heart one. So this is called Only Love. And it was so cute and so pretty. And it makes such a delicate, like these little skinny lines. It's so pretty. I love it. So I grabbed those. But again... You know, if there's something really important you want to grab, grab it because it might sell out. Especially with these prices, sometimes they put things so low. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the drama, you know, with the wet... I, I don't know what... They put it on my overhang, and I have a really, high, like, far out overhanger eve in front of my house. So I don't know what happened, but the rain was coming down really hard. Like, everything was kind of drowning in water for within the first half hour. So it was coming down hard. But um, I am going to upload this right now so I can get this cleared away. And we can start with those peekaboos. And... Um, the dimensional boxes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.